It's a fractured mandate in Jammu and Kashmir, but is this also an opportunity for parties to come together, sink their differences and work for the benefit of people of Jammu and Kashmir? The possibilities are multiple. Every party is eyeing a share in the pie, whether it's the PDP, the BJP, the NC, the Congress, all of them are in the game. Clearly in Jammu and Kashmir, it's game on and that is our top focus story. The race for the Jammu and Kashmir crown has intensified. Multiple permutations and combinations are being worked upon. Hectic back-channel talks are on. All parties are keeping all options open with an eye on negotiating the best deal possible. It's a prestige fight and the BJP is working on two tracks. After he makes an, a principled decision, uh, only then uh, I think uh, he will uh, uh, be open to negotiations with the Prime Minister of India. The situation for discussion is that we will get to know what it is. There is no difference in it. There is no difference in it. There is no difference in it. And there is no difference in it. We will not be an impediment. We are too small to impede anything. But if push comes to shove and we are in a position, we will be the, a facilitating factor, not an impeding factor. The question of making a government उस पर पार्टी क्या भूमिका निभाएगी ये राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष जी तय करें प्लान ए टू स्ट्राइक अ पावर शेयरिंग अरेंजमेंट विद द नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस प्लान बी इज टू कम टू एन अरेंजमेंट विद द पीडीपी ऑन रिटेटिंग सीएम्स एवरी थ्री इयर्स द सीएम्स पोस्ट में प्रूव टू बी द डील क्लिंचर आयरोनिकली मोदी हैड रिपीटेडली अटैक बोथ द मुफ्तीज एंड द अब्दुल्लाज during his campaign blitz and now his team is working on sealing deals with them the doors are open on both sides the feelers are out there but will the pdp or the national conference modify their stand on key issues and go with the bjp to keep the others out with ashwini kumar in jammu ashraf wani in srinagar and rajesh pandey in new delhi bureau report headlines today so there are lots of meetings that are happening there was a report this morning that said omar abdullah was in delhi he met amit shah he met arun jaitley he's gone back to srinagar arun jaitley and amit shah are in jammu they've met the party leadership and what sources are telling us is that the bjp mlas believe they have the numbers 25 of their own there are another five they claim who are supporting them so they are the single largest group they insist they want the chief minister to be of the bjp and that brings me to the question of the day is jammu and kashmir ready for a bjp chief minister and i want to bring in my guests on the broadcast joining me is dr samir kohl he's the pdp national spokesperson joins us from srinagar gvl narsimha rao spokesperson for the bjp and rashmi khan spokesperson for the congress party with me here in the studio will be joined by taranjit singh toni of the national conference from jammu but gvl narsimha rao i want to come to you first is this a pipe dream where are the numbers sir uh gaurav you see the the kind of mandate that the elections have thrown up in uh, jammu and kashmir we see that the bjp has uh, uh, the highest mandate in this election because we have polled the largest number of uh, votes in terms of popular vote our strength has increased the, the, if there is one party that has had a maximum accretion in the numbers in the assembly it is the bjp and uh, and we have had the highest strike rate among all parties so come look at whichever way you want i think we think the, the, this is a victory uh, not an outright victory for the bjp but this is one party we are one party which has seen a massive increase in our numbers popular okay. vote and in every other respect therefore we believe we if we were to really uh, uh, form the government i think it would be in the fitness of things okay. and without uh, the bjp would you agree without the bjp there does not appear to be any chance of any I'll, other I'll government being formed i'll come to that i'll come to that in just a moment but dr call dr call do you agree that bjp being the single largest group as they say and largest vote share the pdp is the single largest party would you agree the bjp deserves a shot at the chief minister's chair 
I, uh, I, the only thing that I can say is that the People's Democratic Party has got the largest number of seats in, in the recent elections and uh, as far as the vote share is concerned, yes the BJP has done well and that it has in the Jammu division of the state of Jammu and Kashmir but mind you, cut gear. I can hear you loud and clear. You got disconnected. No, no, I can hear you loud, loud and clear. Dr. Call, go on. Okay, I have, we will just reestablish that line in just a moment, but Rashmi Khan, I would like to ask you, if we talk about Omar Abdullah, the national conference, has he said the cat amongst pigeons when he said, and I quote, he tweeted this, in 2002, Mufti Mohammad Said became chief minister with 16 MLAs and the national conference with 28 sat in the opposition. So excuse me if I don't oblige by rolling over to play dead. He's in the game. Well, uh, I think at this point of time, Gaurav, to be fair, it's a very complex situation and all players are in the game. And everybody is talking to everybody except the Congress talking to the BJP and the BJP talking to the Congress. Which means both national parties are talking to both regional parties. The Congress announced its support uh, right in the beginning to PDP on the ground that the PJ PDP was the largest single party. I think it's a very disingenuous argument being given two days after the results, a day after the result to say that BJP is the largest single group because you've still got 25, they're talking about an additional five, there is no empirical evidence which has been shown. Okay. So I do not think it can be taken at face value. The second thing that they are, the argument that has been sort of, uh, the narrative that has been given in the last few days is that PDP represents the valley, uh, BJP, the represents BJP represents Jammu, Jammu and therefore it will strike a balance if both of them are there together okay. and therefore they might balance each other out. Now that's a very disingenuous argument because let me just take 30 seconds of yours and, and remind you of the 1977 results when virtually all of North India voted for the Janta Party yes. but the entire South India voted for the Congress. Okay, but the, 77 argument I'll come yeah, to later. Yeah. I want to for the, for the yeah. moment stick to Jammu yeah. and Kashmir and so, uh, Dr. Call, Dr. Call, Omar Abdullah says, pardon me if I don't roll over and play dead because in 2002, even though PDP had less MLAs, they formed the government. He's well in the game and could the BJP and NC could come together and form the government. Does that disturb you? Uh, not in the least, because we, our politics is not based on getting into governance by hook or by crook. We have promises been made with the people of Kashmir Valley. We have, they have, we have, we have an aspirational agenda. We, we are working as a movement rather than just by hook or by crook or somehow or the other trying to cobble up a, a government together and trying to get into governance. That's not our aim, sir. And, and we are there we, for a longer run and we, we have to do justice to the mandate of people which is for the PDP in the Kashmir Valley and I have to admit for the BJP in the Jammu division. But does that mean the two of you can work together? Mani Shankar Iyer was on the broadcast with me a couple of days ago and he said the PDP and the BJP are like water and oil. They don't mix. This could well be a recipe for disaster. Well, that, that happens to be a viewpoint of uh, Mr. Iyer and uh, he's quite welcome to it. But let me tell you, whatever brings peace, whatever brings development to my people, whatever brings progress to my people, whatever gives them a stable, inefficient and a non-corrupt government, that's the way we'd like to go. Will and you be like okay with the BJP Chief Minister? All options. Will, will, will the PDP be okay with uh, the BJP Chief Minister? Well, if, well, if the largest party uh, in the state in the recent elections is headed by someone like Mufti Mohammed Sayyid who has a credible uh, record in, in administration and as a statesman and if he is available why shouldn't that advantage of good governance through him go to the people of Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh? May I ask you that question? Okay, and let me pose that question to GVL Narsimara of the BJP. GVL, what would the BJP be more comfortable with going with the, with the NC, with, with 15 plus 2, as Omar Abdullah says, 17 members, perhaps more uh, amenable to a BJP chief minister than the PDP that says, why not Mufti Mohammed Said? Um, Gaurav, I think our, <clears throat> as our, our national president, uh, 
declared or mentioned on the day of the results on 23rd itself all options are open we have not closed any of our options i think the bjp certainly believes we have a development and a governance agenda which we want to implement in jammu and kashmir therefore the bjp would want to be heading the government or would want to be in the government so all these questions about uh, uh, about who do we go with is something that is in the realm of i think all these possibilities exist as uh, as mr rashmi khan said maybe everybody is talking to everybody and it's 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 uh, it, it, this is the kind of a situation that has been thrown up by the election results and we feel certainly we have the mandate and therefore for us to be aiming to be in government is certainly uh, i think reflecting or or fulfilling the aspirations of the people of the state of jammu and kashmir so is is this going to be pdp and bjp or pdp or nc what works better for the bjp <laughs> i i i at this point of time there are no answers to be given you have to wait and watch and uh, certainly the bjp as i said we want we want to fulfill the promises that we have made to the people of jammu and kashmir okay. therefore we are not ruling out the possibility we want to be in the government okay you want that's, to be in the government the pdp so the wants to be is, the pdp says we have the mandate of the people uh, we want to be in the government so will will the two of you perhaps forge a common minimum program uh, uh, dr call would a rotational chief minister be acceptable to you would is are you talking to the bjp back channel i we are not talking to the bjp on any channel at the moment i will admit that but at, but what like i say that when you start talking when two people start talking to each other or when two countries stop talking start talking to each other or two organizations talk to each other then they talk on the basis of a common minimum program which includes the most important part of the agenda of both parties which is progress and development and peace for its people and that is better served should you be with the bjp or with the congress because gulam nabi azad has offered you unconditional support anyways to which of course umar abdullah said that gulam nabi azad will touch anybody's feet to get back into rajya sabha well i i i don't uh, know about that but what i can tell you is we have to somehow or the other respect the wish the mandate of the people which is quite clear jammu has gone for the bjp whereas the kashmir valley has gone for the people's democratic party so therefore their aspirations matter to us more than anything else okay. one must try to en en encompass that so will will kashmir valley accept a chief minister from jammu we will have to wait and watch i i don't know at the moment let's wait what happens in the future you will know whether they do or don't would you personally have reservations or is that okay with dr Sam uh, sumir call to to uh, you know have a chief minister from jammu question is that there have been chief ministers from jammu in the past Uh, Mr Gulam Nabi Azad whom you just mentioned yes. was a chief minister from Jammu yes. and he ruled the state so so it's not a matter of this or that this religion or that religion it doesn't matter it's the larger wish of the people that matters okay. and if you see all the opinion polls that were conducted across this country yes. and i'm sure you're aware of them like all of us the 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 most acceptable uh, politician in the state in the role of a chief minister was mufti mohammed said and okay. and i think you can't say no to that because it's known to everybody okay uh, the way you look at it uh, is the mandate mr rashmi kant for the congress to sit in the opposition or still try and be a part of this coalition whether it's the pdp or the nc as you've done twice in the past i think the mandate for the congress is to try and show stability in the state progress in the state uh, uh, to see that there is virtually an end to separatism which we uh, virtually brought uh, to an end in the last 12 years as coalition partners of both the parties and as the congress has put one of the most experienced and seasoned 
political people in the country, not just in the party, Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad, to talk to both the parties. I think we'll have to say, but we have to understand, like the PDP spokesman said, that you have to talk about the wishes and aspirations and what you, they have to take in mind the wishes and aspirations of not only their own workers and workers and people, but be, but the people of the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, the people of uh, the people of Jammu and Kashmir, at cer certainly as a state, and we must treat this as a composite whole yes. and not say that like, uh, Jammu is a separate versus region. Yeah, yes. yeah, Jammu versus Kashmir versus Ladakh. The fact of the matter is that a large number of people are, even though BJP got the largest number of votes, uh, which is probably 50,000 or 100,000 more than others, which is not a very significant number. The fact of the matter is that it will be a complete betrayal of faith, at least of the people of the valley. Now, the, in valley, the BJP got only 1%, while in okay. Jammu, in Jammu, they've equaled what they did in the last Lok Sabha elections in terms of numbers of seats so it's not that they you know they've lost 12 seats they've lost 33 percent of the seats there while they've got only one percent of the seats in the valley so so you're saying the mandate is not for the bjp to be the chief minister but it is a mandate for the bjp to be a part of the government or should the bjp sit in the opposition is that your take well i would i would only like to repeat what i heard yesterday in a debate by the, one of the bjp ideologues mr swapandas gupta where he said the mandate is really for the bjp to sit in the opposition okay for let me simple, put that for the simple reason because according to him if the bjp comes into power with the pdp there will be a huge amount, it will be a government of huge amount of compromises because the one issue that people have not raised, they've all talked about development and all these things, is the social ideology and the conflicts that may arise. And, and GVL, you need to respond to this, uh, you know, it's not just the Congress but also others who are now saying that the ideology of the PDP and the BJP are so different, how will they come together? No, uh, um, I think first let me respond to the earlier point that uh, uh, the Congress uh, spokesperson made. I, I think uh, when it comes to formation of governments, you look at the uh, majority uh, uh, that a coalition or a party has. You don't see which section of the people voted for you or which regions have voted for you. Sure. If that were to be the case, like the, the example that he mentioned in 77, even in the 1980, if I recall correctly, the Congress did not get any seats in the South. And, and the claim for Prime Minister does not only lie with the Northern India. You cannot say a South Indian Prime Minister will not be accepted by North okay. Indian population. If this is bizarre. Okay, let's logic. come out of the academic discussion. So Kashmir Stick Valley to the issue of Jammu and Kashmir. You cannot have somebody from, from Jammu. By the way, you are wrong. No, no you, that's, 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 that's an important point. Uh, no, no, Mr. Rashmi Khan, I want to stay on the issue of Jammu. We'll have the academic discussion offline. But Clearly, the point about a chief minister from Jammu, uh, uh, Mr. Rashmi Khan, would you agree that aspirations of people of Jammu can also be, uh, or should also be kept in mind? Uh, Gulam Nabi Azad was the chief minister from Jammu. Does, is there merit in the BJP contention that there should be a chief minister from Jammu this time? I think there is a merit in the, content, in the, merit in the argument that the chief minister can be, should be, can be from any part of the state. I'm not talking about the merit of the BJP yeah. argument that the chief minister must be from Jammu, but the chief minister must be the most capable person, must be the person who is most respected. And the mandate that has been thrown up is that the largest single party is the PDP. It has been, it is headed by Mufti Muhammad Saeed, again a very seasoned politician. So on the face of it, without going into the nitty gritties of who is going to break whom, on the face of it, the mandate that has been given the large is to the largest single party, which happens to be the PDP, okay. it's a matter of fact. And Mr. Mufti Muhammad Saeed heads the PDP. So, so you are I, saying that yeah. he should come together with the Congress and with the independents. Is that your well, claim? Well, that's not my claim. You asked me that who, whether it was a mandate for them or not. I said the mandate is the largest mandate <coughs> for the PDP. Now the rest, whether... the. Uh, PDP comes into power with whom, or the NC, NCP comes in, NCP, NCP comes into power with whom? That NCP, is something yeah. that the Congress will certainly, the Congress leadership is going to decide. And okay. Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad has been assigned Dr. the Kohl, task. Is there merit in the argument? The BJP claims it holds all aces, not just because it is the single largest group, has the largest vote share. But it also forms the government at the centre and Jammu Kashmir would want to be, uh, you know, have an alliance partner, the PDP, if it's the PDP, would want to have an alliance partner like the BJP. 
for central aid, central funds, and for the fastest development of the state. Or can I just take 30 seconds? Can I just get response? Dr. Call to respond? Yeah. I'll come to you okay. immediately okay. after that. Okay. Dr. Call. Well, I, I just, I would, I would um, partly agree with that argument in the sense that yes, the BJP has increased its, uh, bettered its position in the Jammu division of the state of Jammu and Kashmir. But at the same time, I have to tell you that anything there, unfortunately, in the recent elections, we saw that we, there was a regional divide. You know, that has become caught a chiasm. Yes. Anything that bridges that gap, we must go forward to bridge that gap. Even if, if there are different ideologies, it can still be made to work, provided one talks to each other and work and talks in a logical conflict resol resolution manner. So why so are they talking? Why are the two of step. you talking? Well, I think at the moment, to be very frank with you, we have just about completed the round of deliberations within the party where we got opinion from within the party and, from, from, and got some feedback from the population of Jammu and Kashmir state to, to form a point of view. And I think which is any time the possibility, which is that they, they have given us the mandate that we must explore all options. And therefore, we would be talking uh, to all uh, in, in respect of these three options to the parties concerned, and we will do that over the next few days. In 2002, it took, it took some time to form a government. Like I said, Jammu Kashmir is too sensitive a state to be done, everything to be done in a jiffy. Yes. We've had governance like that here in the past, and you've seen the results. The state is on the brink of disaster. It is pen the treasuries are penniless, and th there is a vast divide between the various communities, creeds, and cultures in the state today. It has been brought down to its lowest level. We want we have we have to start from negative. So in, so we've got to make sure that the future government that comes is stable, and there is enough leg room for the participating parties to carry on their agenda to some extent okay. in consultation with each other and respect the common minimum program. Okay. We can only work on that basis, my friend. Sure, and and that perhaps would could also include as the BJP insists that a chief minister from Jammu, uh, if not for a six a six year tenure, uh, three years by rotation. When we get talking, then we get talking, and we don't know. These are all points in an agenda, and when you start deliberating, one step leads to the other. We don't know. Okay. Uh, does do you agree? BJP holds all aces, as as uh, GVL Narsimharao claims, See, or the, as the party claims. I don't know whether whether the BJP holds all aces for the simple reason, even though Mr. Narsimharao has claimed that they are the largest group. There is no empirical evidence to show that. Point number one. Okay. Point number two, of course, is that we have to see whether the, the BJP has made it stand very clear that whether it's tactically, whether it's strategically. Their first option is NC, otherwise they would have talked to the PDP. Okay. Why did they talk to NC? Because they think they can get a much better deal because they've got larger numbers and NC will accept a BJP-led government. This could be their perception. Whether that is true or not and whether the NC is also sort of taking them for a good joy ride okay. is, is very difficult to say. Like I said, it's a very complex situation. This indeed and, uh, is extremely complicated. GVL Narsimha Rao. Are you at the end of this broadcast? Just want to ask you, is, is, is the perception that you're more comfortable with NC than with PDP, even though the PDP has the mandate in Kashmir, uh, would you be willing to compromise just to form the government? No, I, I think there is no question of a compromise. The BJP would certainly want to be in the government. BJP would ideally want to steer the government. Obviously, the BJP MLA, uh, one of the BJP's MLAs will then get to be the chief minister and uh, BJP would want to implement the agenda that we have really promised, the development agenda to the people of uh, okay. Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir. We believe, we believe certainly the Jammu and Kashmir state did not get the kind of governance that it deserved and our mandate we think is largely because of uh, the promises we made to the people and we would we shall promise we, we would like to fulfill okay. all these promises can I make a okay quick point? on, on as that as note which party we go with can i make a quick point to gvl uh, which party we i go just with, i've run out of time on the broadcast because the today world. being christmas uh, I, you know I, we will be tracking the story very closely and i would like to thank all okay, of you no for being a part of this broadcast but you know we want to end this bulletin on the spirit of cheer 
and and that spirit of christmas here's wishing all our viewers all our viewers great health wealth and prosperity